Hey everybody, this is Zeno and welcome to the Dynamic Forever. Well, it's that time of month again, time for Survival Boxes! The gear only box for March 2017. If you are unfamiliar with Survival Boxes, you can check them out at survivalboxes.com and what they are is a monthly subscription service box that delivers the best survival gear and accessories uh, for your outdoor adventures, natural disasters, and man-made disasters. Uh, they have a couple of different box levels that you can choose from when you check out their website, including the Alpha Box, the Bravo Box, and the Gear Only Box. This is the Gear Only Box, which retails at $89.99, and it contains, as the name implies, only gear. So if you're a gearhead like myself, this is the box to get. So without further ado, let's get into Survival Boxes, March 2017. All right, let's check it out. Survival Boxes... Land navigation for March 2017. That's pretty cool. I like navigation. That's pretty sweet. So it looks like they had a little bit of a change up to their uh, card that they've been including lately. Definitely a lot more colorful. Uh, and as you can see, we have the contents to every box. We actually have the Survival Alpha, the Survival Bravo, and also the Gear Only box. So our total value on this box is 138.20. That is our total value. This is a list of everything that comes in the box along with its associated price. Uh, and remember, this box goes for $89.99, so that's pretty good value. So that's everything we need. And next up, we have the Survival Knowledge card. This is card number 14, and uh, when you get to, uh, your first box will be your new member box, and in that new member box, you get this little guy right here. Oops, let me... A little three-ring binder that you can put these Survival Knowledge cards in. So we used to only get these with the Alpha box. But lately, we've been also getting them with the gear only box, which is sweet. That's pretty cool. So we'll stick that into our little knowledge book that we have here. Again, you get this three ring binder with your very first box, your uh, new member box. And, uh, and then each month, you will get a survival knowledge card based on the uh, theme of that particular box. This one is land navigation, land navigation and map reading. And on the back we have more land navigation <laughs> and uh, map reading. Looks like a step-by-step uh, -step instructions uh, to land navigation and map reading. So very cool. Gets you a lot of great information. And then of course month after month you gradually build this up and uh, then you have uh, quite the knowledge resource available to you there. So first up we have the Lenstatic Compass from UST. We have the directions there. There we go. A little compass. This is called the Engineer from UST. And there you go. Nice little compass. Also good for sighting. And this particular guy goes for $5.99 is the price on that. Nice little compass. Alright, next up we have a pair of binoculars by Humvee. 12 times navigation, 25 millimeter ruby red lenses, non-slip grip with lanyard and rubber armor coating. From Humvee. Let's check this out. Nice little case they come in. Alrighty, there it is. 12 by 25 rose color lenses very cool nice nice little uh, pair of binoculars there let's take a peek can I focus Ooh, that Phillips screwdriver is really dirty <laughs> all right uh, Sega also comes with a cleaning uh, cloth there for the lenses all right, let's get them back in the case there it comes all right yeah Fits real nice. Definitely uh, uh, small enough to be able to stash into an EDC bag or even a little bug out bag. Everything you need. Uh, Humvee binoculars, 12 by 25. Price on that was $17.98. Alright, next up we have compass cards. Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, um, so this is a little pocket guide. Um, comes with some uh, overlay 
uh, charts here that you can use to establish scale, adjust declination, that sort of thing, and also some um, quick reference cards here that you can read on, on how to, uh, to do that. Um, so sometimes these things can be a little overwhelming to somebody who's new to, uh, to map reading, but it, it's once you kind of get the hang of it, and if you have the right tools, it's, it's actually not very difficult to do to, uh, to adjust for declination and things like that. But these are important things to do because um, if you don't do these things, uh, you're not going to wind up on the map where you think you're going to wind up. So <laughs> you're going to be one place in reality and another place on the map. Uh, so it is important to, uh, to, uh, to learn how to do these things, and these uh, quick reference cards make that uh, much easier to do on the fly. So and nice, they fit very snugly into, you can make a little uh, land navigation kit and a little bag and stick that in there. That would definitely be cool. All right, uh, so price on that was $12.95. Next up, we have another compass, this one by Explorer. And this is going to be a little plate compass. There we go. And this, with this type of compass, you would put this directly onto your map. That's why it's clear and flat. And then it also has the ability to uh, adjust for scale, your bearing. Um, you can do a lot of different uh, things with this particular type of compass. And they're nice to have with map reading. In fact, in my opinion, they're almost uh, uh, a necessity for, map, for accurate map reading to have a plate compass like this um, just makes map reading a lot easier to do and a little bit more fun too in my opinion. So if you're going to do some map reading uh, and learn to do that for uh, land navigation, a small little compass like this is definitely a good idea and again something uh, very inexpensive, uh, even really high quality nice ones are, are actually pretty inexpensive. Um, and, but it's nice to have a little compass and again this could be you know part of a little land navigation bag in your uh, EDC or bug out bag. Uh, the uh, price on that is $4.99. All right, next up we have a manual. Map reading and land navigation, headquarters, Department of the Army. So this is a military guide to land navigation. Uh, I actually have a book very similar to this. It's not this book, but it's a very similar book. It's a, a military map navigation and uh, map reading book, and uh, they are not overly interesting books to read. They're very dry, uh, very uh, sort of uh, you know, a lot of information, and definitely uh, is reading a, like a very large manual of something. Um, so it's it's not really there for entertainment, but lots of really good information. And if you can actually get through this book from start to finish and do the different things that the book has in it, uh, you will have a very good grasp of land navigation. It's not the easiest type of book in the world to get through, but I've read it from cover to cover, and, uh, and uh, it, uh, it definitely teaches you everything you need to know. Uh, but simply reading a book isn't going to be enough. You do have to get out and actually do this stuff and practice it and get some real-world application with map reading. And so that definitely helps, too. So there you go. Uh, the uh, Land Navigation Manual is $7.89 for that. So next up we have the Moonlit LED Micro Lantern by Nighties. Try me. There we go. little red uh, light on a little carabiner clip. Let's get that off real quick. There we go. So there it is. So you can hang that. Provide yourself a little bit of light and you can Put that in just about any direction. Up, down, backwards, frontwards, side to side. Swivel it around. <laughs> so nice, so it's red light, so you can use it at night and it won't blow out your night vision or, or uh, you know, light up too much to give away your position. Just give you just enough light to be able to, to read a map. Um, so here we have a little lantern for nighttime map reading, the Night Ease LED micro lantern. The price on this is $9.99. All right, next up we have a military map protractor. So again, this is kind of one of the essential tools to map reading and uh, anyone who's into map reading and land navigation is going to have a military protractor. I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera because it's mostly clear, but basically it has, uh, it can do a lot of different things including um, scale, so you can have different type of different types of scale. You can do uh, declination adjustments with this, uh, measuring distance, direction, all sorts of different things that you can do with a military. 
protractor for map reading. And in my opinion, it is kind of a necessary um, item to have if you're into land navigation and map reading. So um, very cool. So this will just pop off of here like so. There we go. And there it is. Military map protractor. Again, kind of a necessary item to have in my opinion. And small enough and lightweight enough that you could stick that in a a uh, little land navigation kit with your maps and whatnot. And you have a uh, nice, uh, nice uh, map reading tool. Uh, price on that is $4.99. Next up we have the Emergency Rain Poncho by UST. Obviously if you're going to be doing some map reading and land navigation, especially if you have to do it, <laughs> probably not going to be a situation where you want to do it in that case. Um, so the weather might be bad. So here we have an emergency poncho. Uh, that uh, for some protective gear from UST, just a clear plastic poncho with hood. Price on that is $239 for the emergency poncho. Next up, we have the emergency bivy, two person emergency bivy by Soul. It's pretty nice. So let's check this out. It comes in a nice little case here, nice little bag. And there it is. So it's basically kind of like a space blanket, but much higher quality. So I got a little direction manual there. So it has a, a mylar finish on one side, like a normal space blanket would. And then on the other side, it has this coating on it. And again, you would use this like a, uh, like a space blanket, uh, but this is a little bit higher quality one. It's also larger, so it could fit two people, as you can see. It's a pretty big blanket there. Usually little space blankets come in little squares like that big. Um, so you can tell that this one is uh, significantly uh, uh, larger. So this is uh, waterproof, windproof. Uh, it is seam taped uh, for to, to help with that uh, waterproofing and reflects 90% uh, of your body heat back at you so you're going to be able to stay warm so um, the orange coating here provides a nice uh, uh, waterproof uh, and durable protective coating to the mylar and then uh, this would go on the outside and if you get stranded and need an emergency uh, bivy and especially if you're with another person this guy right here would definitely be big enough to keep you warm on some cold nights in an emergency situation keep you warm and dry and that's pretty much nine-tenths of the battle right there. So there you go. The uh, two-person emergency bivy by Soul. Price on that is $32. All right, next up we have an item by CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool. This is the Copacetic. The name on that, and it is a knife. Very cool. I always like a knife. Ooh, nice. Has some uh, some nice texture, almost like a rubberized texture to it. It's a flipper. Ooh, nice and smooth. Liner lock. Also has a thumb stud. Very cool. Nice nice belly to that blade. Drop point. Very cool. Good feels good in the hand too. I like that. I really like that rubberized grip. It feels really nice in the hand. Pocket clip. Stainless steel liner. Coated blade. Hank's design. The copacetic. Cool little flipper. I like that. Um, I've said this before on the channel. I like carrying flippers, especially um, in, the, uh, in the winter. Uh, cold months, if you, when you got gloves on or your hands are just cold, it sometimes can be hard to articulate, um, you know, thumb studs and stuff like that. So a nice flipper is just super easy, really easy to do with gloves on or when your hands are just really cold. So this is not an assisted knife. It's just really smooth. So I'll do it really kind of slow there. There we go. So not an assisted knife, but nice and smooth operation. Opens up very quickly and smoothly. I like that. So that's the CRKT. Copacetic is our knife. Price on that is 
And that is everything that comes in survival boxes, gear only for March 2017. Our theme was land navigation. And of course we got a bunch of fire tinder here now that we can use. So let's put this aside for right now, put the box over here. There we go. And let's take a jump down memory lane. We'll just recap everything that came in the box so you guys can see it all in one big pile. Uh, so first off, we got the Lenstatic Compass by UST. Price on that was $5.99. Next, we got the Humvee 12 by 25 binoculars in a nice little case. Price on that was $17.98. Uh, the next, we got the uh, Compass Pocket Cards by ESCC. A uh, nice little... Nice little reference for uh, pocket reference for uh, map reading and navigation that you can stick in a little kit or take with you. Uh, price on that was $12.95. Next, we got the base plate compass by Explorer for uh, use on map reading. Very important tool for map reading. Uh, price on that was uh, $4.99. Next up, we got the FM 21 26. Department of the Army Map Reading and Land Navigation Manual. So military manual there. Price on that was $7.98. Gives you all the information you're going to need. Next up we had the Lighties LED Red Map Reading Micro Lantern. To cast a little bit of light to read your maps at night. Uh, price on that was $9.99. Next up we had the Military Map Protractor. Price on that was $4.99. And then we had the Rain Poncho by UST, an emergency rain poncho. Price on that was $2.39. The next up we had the uh, two-person emergency extra large bivy by Soul. So nice uh, emergency bivy to have there with you. Uh, price on that was $23. Be a great item for a bug out bag. All right, then last up was our knife, the CRKT Copacetic. Nice blade for this month. Very cool handle, nice operation, feels good, ergonomic. Uh, price on that was $44.94. All right, so there's everything that came in the Survival Boxes gear only box for March 2017 land navigation. I'm pretty excited. Can't wait for this uh, latest snowstorm here to, uh, to melt away and get out there and do some land navigation. So... Spring is just around the corner. Take it easy, everybody.